is the Zero Prime, and welcome to a Let's Play of Summer Nightmare. Now, this is a game that I found on Steam that I figured I'd give it a try. And already we're seeing um, whatever this is supposed to be, so let's just jump right in and see where this takes us. Do you remember the serial murder case that continues to happen within a certain class? Unfortunately, another victim has emerged. This issue, this issue received even more attention as the victim was the only son of XX Group president. Now third class of juniors in Cal High School is left with only one student. Guess this is who I am. I didn't want to hear it anymore, so I turned it off. Our classmate has been killed one our classmates have been killed one by one by an unknown killer, and I'm the only one who is left. I still have to go to school. Even if no one else is left. My father, according to mom Oh, sorry, my mother according to mom, he died in an unfortunate accident soon after my mom. Whatever, let's stop thinking about it and go to school. See you later, Mom and Dad. Man, this guy really gets the short end of a stick for a lot of things, doesn't he? The principal thinks that I am the murderer, not to mention that he, he thinks I killed Kai. He was my childhood friend and I would never killed him. kill him. He was my childhood friend and I would never kill him. You just said that! It's break time. The students in the hallway are giving me the looks. Could they be, could they be suspecting me too? Hey, isn't that the guy who killed all of his classmates? And he has the nerve to show up to school? Scary stuff, really. Everyone whispers to each other while staring at me. I pretend I didn't hear anything, but I couldn't help lowering my head. Ah. Uh. Rail, are you okay? Yeah. Don't listen to them. They are just saying stupid stuff without knowing anything about you. At least you trust me. Of course, I know you are not that kind of person. Lena is the only one who believes me. Lena has been my friend since childhood so far. Suddenly a group of bullies came to me. He's the famous murderer, right? You got some nerve to show up like that, you murderer. Did your mother teach you to be like that? Don't you dare say anything bad about my mother. Oh right, this bastard has no mother. Dot dot dot. Uh, let's see, let's do an auto so that way... Cause like I said, I can already tell some few problems with the text and everything, but I have a feeling there's a little bit more to it than that, but let me see something. Guys, stop it! Who's this bitch? Is she the one of your hoes? Hey! You guys better be careful, he might stab you. Hmm? Lena was flushed with anger as they were chuckling. Ray clutched his fist, suddenly a boy who was holding a book with an annoyed face appeared before us. You guys are so noisy. If you know that, can you please shut up? If you haven't already noticed, be quiet. What? You don't own the hallway, so shut up. You nerd. Being stupid ain't something to be proud of. Cut it out, he is Oscar, the teacher's pet. Messing with him might cause some trouble. Let's head back. Scared of Oscar, the bullies became quiet and went back to their classrooms. Ah, that boy saved us. He must be a good guy. Thanks. Thanks for what? For saving us. Me? Save you guys? Huh? Honestly, I came out here because the hall was too noisy. You guys too. Stop being so noisy and get out of my way. 
Oscar walked away coldly from us. He isn't as nice as I thought. Kind of annoying, to be honest. Ha <laughs> ha. What's wrong with him? Are you okay, Lena? I'm fine. I should go back to class. You should go back to class also. Forget about what everyone says. Chin up. Okay, Lena. Have fun in class. Yeah, I can only tell that some, um... I don't know. I'm getting a vibe that maybe this is not a well... Written out story, in my opinion, that I can tell. Besides a few grammatical sentences here and there and spacing of the words and all that, I just get a feeling that the plot so far is not really... Uh... I don't know. It's kind of like hard to read it, especially if you get that feeling when you read something, it's kind of like... Uh, it's kind of it's like reading like a bad written story, basically. That, you know, I'm not trying to make it sound like this is a bad game or anything, but it's just kind of hard to really invest into it when you have that feeling, you know? But, like I said, I'm going to play this through the end to see what happens. Alright, so we have a temple. Okay. Well, it looks the same, so I don't see the redness that you were talking about. And also, this seems like the story is moving a little bit too fast, like the pace is a little too quick. Alright. And of course, I see a magical girl. Literally, a magical girl. Okay, that's not a good sign that the bus is driving by itself. Okay. Wait, a robotic voice? Like I said, it's not even like the distinction for that part. It's kind of like, is he still monologuing about it, or... Why not? It could have just have said, you know, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. And like I said, with these visual novel games, I always try to get to an ending. To see how it is. Like I said, with most visual novels, they're all different. Okay, hello. Wait, what? Okay. Wait, they're all dead? So did we get somehow pulled into like an alternative ghost universe? Medusa?
Well, okay, that's an interesting form of Medusa that you look at it, your heart explodes. And I'm guessing that thing that we saw in the opening title is the Medusa. Okay. But still, everyone in this classroom is dead. Like I said, who was that shadowy thing that po that teleported us in the classroom to begin with? Like I said, I would read more of this, but it's kind of like, you know, getting even harder to get into it. Okay, here's our first choices. Um... I'm going to go with... Let's go to the music room since that seems to be a clue. Okay. Nobody's here. Again, it's also like that problem. It's like you're talking about like, you know, I'm doing this and you say like... And such and such is. It's kind of like a conflicting of the... Of the story. I mean, you either talk about, like, you know, in first person, or you're talking... Or you're talking to third person. You can't have both at the same time. Alright. There was a Medusa outside. Do we get to see a glimpse of it? Okay, so he's not dead. So something must have happened then. Uh, let me guess, he loses his mind. And who may have made that announcement? Okay, so he's not going to explain, like, how all this started to happen? Like, what happened, especially in town, where it got deserted and everything? Uh, bloody flowers, apparently. <coughs> Excuse me.
خب So wait, do we get to meet Kai as well, his best friend? Or is that supposed to be Kai, but why is he called Trey then? Okay. Okay. Wait, we don't even get a choice? Like, what if I wanted to go with him to the broadcasting room? So wait, is the teacher dead then, or is it alive? Like I said, there's a whole lot of things here that just is, is not really connecting well. The old dead gym. Okay, now, um, guess we can try the library. Again, what's the point we're looking here if it's like if they're like in a supernatural world? They say, oh, we can't leave. Again, no capitalization on no. Well, I don't see any of that stuff in this scenery, so...
Oh, don't tell me he's the bad guy. Okay. Hello, love and dress number two. Wait, you found the document that's 20 years old on a computer? Just a random computer? And you just happened to find these in a computer lab on a computer at random. Okay. Uh, I guess we can talk to the teacher about it. Okay, let's, uh, the school cafeteria. Wait, what basement? Where was that mention of the basement? Okay, that's the same bully from before. Since when did we run away from the Medusa? When? Yeah, we're going. Okay, that's a bit unnecessary. Yeah, this seems to be a bit rushed. Like, it's nothing really flushed out or anything.
Yeah, five will get you a ten that there's a dead body in there or a monster of some kind. I don't know, I just clicked on Yep, called it. Wait a minute. Okay, it looks like the, either that's in my hand touching the pulse of a neck, or that's like the... Yeah, there we go. But wait. Even if you strangle somebody, not that much blood should be spilling out of it, though. Let me guess, everybody's dead. Oh, dead bodies. Whoa. Okay, I'll get points that this is detailed. Okay. Well, that was, we got food, but there was nothing else. Huh? Hello. Horrible state has been on a statement with that. Wait, his face? That's clearly a girl. Yeah, even they mentioned an eyeless girl. Oh, that would be a creepy scene. Again, they just combined, you know, the guy, what he's saying, combined with the action of what happened. Huh? 
In a zombie, in a ghost world, something going on. Like Jin, Jane. They even spelled Jan's name wrong. Hello. Hello. Which they never quite went further to what they were exactly they were doing. Neither can I. Uh oh. Okay, maybe we might get some explanation. Okay, so you turned up. That really doesn't explain much. Okay, what exactly is Medusa? It's like a research? For what? For bringing something back to life? To get someone's superpowers? You know, what is it exactly?
Again. <sighs> this is just... Yeah, let me just say this is a free game, but even still... Boy, is the principal here as well, or no, he's not. Wait, how do you know she's even down there? Uh oh. Okay. Like I said, this is just... Not to slam on the developers, the people that made this game and such, but this is just a travesty right here. I mean, it's like, did he even take the time to proofread the script? Or to even... Make more... To fix the plot a little bit more. Work. You even misspelled looked with work. Don't tell me he's gonna start speaking like ooh. -oo. Whoa. What kind of question is that to ask? Why is there a room in the basement? It's a laboratory. Hello. Inevitably, kind of a wrong word for that.
Like she's in there? All right, let's try the drawer. Gil Man. Mangil? Wait, his name is Mangil? Okay, these are the kind of documents that you want to have destroyed. Why keep them? Wait, Trey? What the? But wait, where's Oscar? Wait, I will banish? You mean vanish? Ugh. And what are you talking about? All right, let's try to talk it out of it. Uh-oh. It felt food. Wait, what is this? What the? So wait, that's the body?
Okay. And the same bullies from... Back in the Okay. Oh. oh boy. Oh, there's so much I can say about this. But I really don't want to say too much about it because I'm definitely gonna say that for my zero review series. But oh oof. Wow, just, um, wow, what, ah, uh, like I said, I'm gonna save this for my reviews, zero review series, and like, I, wow, and this is not a good, like, wow, this is great, this is like, wow, what the heck was that, uh, but anyway, that was, Summer Nightmare, if you guys want to try it for yourself, it's free on Steam and see what different endings you can get, but I'm going to call this an ending that I'm done, so in any case, thanks for watching everybody, hope you've been enjoying this as much as I have, and as always, leave a comment below, subscribe for more for your update, share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias. And don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel and to turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on my channel. And if you guys want to help me out in some shape or form, I have a Patreon down in the description box below. And as usual, thank you for watching, everyone, and have a pleasant day. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. Smartphone users, press the button down there. PC users, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the link up there. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Also, you there, the one who didn't follow my orders? I'm coming for you now. <laughs>